Okay, in this video today, I'm going to be using PCM, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, setting it up with a different uh, 386 SX BIOS, Dif a different one than I used last time. So this is my hard drive image right here. So it's a 63.9 megabyte uh, hard drive image. If you want to download this image, I have it, but it doesn't have any operating system on it. So you could just use download it and use it and store your stuff on it. I have a link to where you can uh, do that, do all that. I've done it before, so you could uh, refer back to that video and s set up your own, own image of uh, MS-DOS on a 63 megabyte hard drive. So I'm going to proceed. I just start PCM. Just go here, start a new one. I'm going to call it 386SX. And I'm going to select the BIOS. So I put the BIOS here in this folder, in my PCM folder. And uh, I'm going to select 386. AMI SX clone, so that's what I'm going to select. The one I did before was DT 386SX DTK 386 clone, but that's not what I want. I want this one. I'm going to select 33 megahertz, and the uh, amount of RAM I want is 2 megabytes. So this is a. Uh, I'm going to select VGA. Fast 16 bit, sound device, ad lib, gold, no, just ad lib. Now I'm going to select the hard drive. First, let me do the floppy disk drive. I'm going to select for A drive, it's 1.443.5 inch. For B drive, it's 1.22 megabyte, high density, 5 and a quarter inch. I'm going to select the hard drive image. For me, it's right here. 62 megabyte hard drive. So I'm going to go to custom here, select this because it's 62 megabytes. And it has everything here where you get all the sectors and everything. And it would be type 4, and you would have to remember that. Okay? This mouse setting I didn't change, just left this the same. I'm not going to be using networking here. Okay. And now I'm going to start it. Just make sure you press delete to get into the bio. So I'm going to do a hard reset and press delete. Whoops, middle mouse button to get out of it. Okay, so F1, I guess. So what we have to do is set the BIOS because it's not going to work like it's not just going. It's not going to work when you just put it in there. So standard CMS setup, enter. So we want number one, alter options to make system work. So scroll down here, change the date. It's not 1921. Page up and page down, basically. Just type in 2000. No, I'm sorry. Forget about the time. We'll just do this. So it's page up. So it's type for. Just page down instead. Page down until it's type for. And the second hard drive is also. I don't think I put a second hard drive in there. That's all I got in there, okay? Um, for A drive, it's um, 1.443.5 inch. For B drive, it's 1.2 megabyte, five and a quarter. Display is that, everything's good. 
press escape right to see moss and exit and now I should be able to boot from it now it's working I already have an operating system in here it's DOS shell MS DOS 5.0 I think Microsoft DOS everything set up that's it that's how you get it to work so you could so BIOSes are different for for every computer so today I'm just playing with the AMI 386SX BIOS and seeing if that works and it does so I didn't put a D drive in there so what I want to do is I want to put another hard drive in here and I'll show you how to do that and exit go back here go back there go to D drive now I'm going to select a hard drive browse I do have extra hard drives in here I made clone drives basically of the same thing so D drive this is a 62 megabyte hard drive again here okay start again I don't have that okay let's see how do I get in I think it was F1 for getting in the BIOS no it's delete hard reset I'm gonna press delete continuously okay and now I got into the BIOS again by pressing the delete key repeatedly but that screen goes very quickly enter again go to 1 I go back here press enter no I'm sorry page down page down page down page down so it's the same hard drive 62 megabytes escape right to see moss yes now I should be able to see two hard drives I think I should be able to see C and D so you can see C drive and D drive so this is how you set up the BIOS for for AMI 386 anyways that's it thanks for watching my ace 1000 KS 1975 signing out and also, the middle button is to get out. Um, you just press your left button to get in. And if you want full screen, it's uh, alternate control page down. Or you could go here and select full screen. No, it's control, alternate, page down. That's it. Okay, thanks.